What's up rappers and producers? Today we gonna talk about Gross Beat and Ableton. I have these two tracks and these two tracks are just the main melody and a synth that goes underneath the melody to make it sound more full. So we're gonna click one and we're gonna mute the effects that it has. So this is what it sounds like. Just a raw instrument that I played on my uh, piano. So that's that, and then we have the synth. So yeah, so that's that. And on the synth, I just have the the mix gel, which is the the regular compressor that I use. I use this compressor on. Pretty much every instrument that I use, this is my go-to compressor. And the reason why it's a go-to compressor because you can sidechain things to it, and you can sidechain whatever to whatever track that you want it to, and you can EQ. It's like a little quick EQ as well. And then you have the little threshold. You have the meters right here, and you can control the uh, decibels. That's what the dB stands for, in case anybody was wondering. So you can do that, and then I'll press Command Z to make it go back to four decibels. And then you can do the makeup, and then the makeup, it makes it louder. Just uh, but we'll get <clears throat> we'll get more into that in a different video. All right, so now we're gonna hear it together. I'm gonna mute these. And I'm gonna turn the compressor on. And this six seconds, that's just a reverb. So, yeah. All right, so that's what it sounds like together. So after that, I started with the kicks. Oh, okay. Okay. So on the kick, it looks like I don't have anything. So I just have the kick, and then we just jump to the 808. In the 808, I have the, the kick boom, and we have the, the compressor. Now, the kick boom, we can get into that into a different video, but... Um, it makes it punch more. Now we have the 808s. Now the 808s, I normally keep the 808s by itself. Just the raw instrument of the 808s. So that's why you don't see anything in this area right here. So let's listen to that. So that is the raw instrument and I may add the the compressor, the mix gel. I may add that just so it can um, sound more complete and may tweak it a little bit, but we'll see. But usually I don't like to do that much with the 808s because they normally sound pretty good. Now the snares, the snares, they're just the plain snares and usually I would have usually I would go over here the audio effects and go to mixing and mastering and I would go to what's called a full chain uh, and it's right here and the full chain just has a whole bunch of of these things right here so that's what I would normally do 
with the uh, with a lot of my instruments really uh, get that full chain to tweak um, how it sounds and stuff like that and we can get into that into a different video That sounded pretty good. Um, so I do want to see what it sounds like with the beat just changed slightly. So what I'm gonna do is uh, and then I'm gonna go to export. Export and loop, and then that's gonna go. Uh, go to add a folder, desktop, drip and loop, Oop. open. Okay. So I guess it worked that time. And then we're gonna go to flatten. And then we go to it. And then we're gonna go repitch. And then I'm gonna go to that now. We gotta get rid of that. Scroll all the way in. All the way to the beginning. And we're gonna get rid of this as well. Because we want the we want the whole thing here. Okay, so now we drag it along here. So now we listen to the beat with the gross beat effect. That's how you get the gross beat effect in Ableton. Find a way to get your own effects. There's always a way to do what you want to do within your DAW without paying for some effect to do it for you. Figure out your DAW and master it. Become the next super producer. Now, with all that out the way, tell me if you like the beat and if you did like the beat, Get a thumbs up if you didn't, get a thumbs down, and subscribe to the channel for Acetone Music for all social media. Look at the Instagram, because the Instagram, I put on the little snippet videos. If you don't have time, if you're like going to work, and you want to see just what I'm going to be talking about throughout the whole video, then check out the preview for the Instagram on the Instagram videos. If you want to do some music, reach out. If you need anything mixing done, mastering done, just let me know and I'm gonna do some more videos and this is the construction video part one of construction which is the uh, which is the what the fuck is this shit called with the gross beat alright so that's the gross beat so next episode I'm gonna be talking about the effects that I use to mix my instruments so y'all stay tuned for the next episode